Here we find ourselves among the fertile lands on Massage 2ABB, and we can find ourselves among a bountiful and diverse selection of species. One species in particular has taken a fond liking to the grassy plains and tangled undergrowth of the forest regions. The Fakurus plumius corda, or more commonly known flappy tail hog by the locals. Here we find a mother with her young, a relatively rare sight, as, quite frankly, like most species, you should never find yourself between a mother and her offspring. To make matters worse, the species are very aggressive and territorial. Most who stumble upon her, unfortunately, do not live to tell the tale. Despite the looks, this enchanting creature is a ferocious beast. With her mammoth tusks and a body mass that can dwarf a rhinoceros, a full-grown adult can easily trample a human or use her armoured-plated carapace to ram an opponent, flinging them often high into the air. But unsurprisingly to most, uh, its most famous characteristic is its tail pluming outwards like feathers and mimics the seeding qualities of the Fescus and Vestuca rubra species of grass found back on our home planet, Earth. And it is a trait that has given it its famous nickname, the Fluffy Tail Hawk. During the life cycle of the fluffy tail hawk, we find the young are born in pairs and stick with their mother throughout their infancy. During this hard phase, the, the young pharaoh develops the necessary skills to fend for itself, and upon reaching pubescence, the hog is cast out on their own or with their sibling, leaving the mother to find a new mate. Normally, a boar has learned the necessary skills to survive at this point, but for those who are cast out too early, they often find themselves falling victim to their own curiosity traipsing the dunes until they burn out from exhaustion or die from dehydration. Life here on Massage 2 ABB is far from forgiving even for a native boar. But for the others, we often find them thriving in the forest sticking to smaller groups, often blending into their environment. That being said, you do have to be careful as a young hog is just as feisty as a mother or alpha hog and will often attach itself to a territory and defend this territory from any unwanted visitors. This lifestyle continues for several years until a sibling becomes a fully grown adult. And at this point, there is often a falling out from what we gather, whether it's due to territorial instincts or the need for a mate, they often separate, saying goodbye to their closest family member. The large male alpha hawks are almost indistinguishable from the female variant at first glance. However, if you find a mother hog on its own, it's more likely to be an aggressive male searching for a mate. Surprisingly, 
there have been very few fully grown mothers found wandering the forests alone, and we perceive that this is because during her pregnancy, she is often hidden in caves similar to bears that hibernate during winter, waiting until she's given birth to her pharaohs before venturing back out into the wild. But what's incredible is that through science we have discovered that these Facucaris plumius corda not only share many similar traits as with the Facucaris found on Earth, but also share similar strands of DNA, which still remains a mystery for us here on Massage 2ABB. Despite the vast space between our two planets, this DNA supports both a theory of evolution, but more interestingly, that these two species could have once shared the same genome. Something unthinkable to scientists until now, and with us having looked into the fluffy tail hog rather than finding answers, we have found a tiny piece of history that completely rewrites our understanding of life back on Earth. But with that, we can only speculate. Join us next week in New Planet as we unveil the history of the quadrupedal horn spitter, another common species that calls the dunes and sparsest of valleys its home.